the shirt. What? <clears throat> All right. <sighs> Hi, my name is Jude, and this is my voice pre-T. Hi, my name is Jude, and this is my voice one year on T. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to my doctor's office and hopefully I will be leaving there with a prescription for testosterone. One year ago, I started testosterone. I was, I was kind of on the fence and trying to decide if testosterone would be right for me and my transition, but ultimately I would really like to see a lot of the changes that testosterone would help me achieve. For the most part, the changes that I've experienced on testosterone align with how I feel my body should be. I still experience dysphoria enough to the point where I think taking tea will be really helpful for me. I struggle with gender dysphoria and testosterone has helped me feel more like myself. I really want my body to be kind of like man shapes, I guess, and not and not curvy around my hips. One of the main things that I really wanted on T was body fat redistribution. And there's certain things that you just really can't achieve with that unless you're taking testosterone. I don't want like an hourglass. Um, I want like a Dorito, <laughs> like to have broader shoulders and to be more muscular. I've noticed that my body fat has redistributed even, even just in the first year with like minimal to no exercise. Um, I have, you know, broader shoulders. I fill out my t-shirts way differently, like a little bit more muscly, like not, it's not like drastic or anything, but like, I'm just broader. I want to document everything and sort of, and like record how my voice is changing and my face. When I listen to my voice pre-T, um, it sounds like a completely different person. The voice drop, um, my voice getting deeper, it wasn't the first thing that I noticed. Actually, even the first week that I started T, I felt a difference. I almost immediately had more energy. A lot of people experience hot flashes. Like in general, I'm just way more sweaty. Almost immediately, I noticed that my sex drive was a lot higher. Something that not a lot of people talk about is bottom growth, because it's kind of awkward, but that is also like one of the first changes that you'll notice. I've gotten so much hairier. I have hair like everywhere, minimal facial hair that is coming in, um, and I do shave now. I, I imagine that the first thing is, that's gonna come in is probably gonna be like a chin strap or something to that effect. I think it's a good sign that I love my new chest so much. With top surgery, I got to choose pretty much everything. And I, I got a say in who my surgeon was and I knew exactly how his previous results looked after surgery. Changing hormones in general is, is just kind of a like a mixed bag. You're not getting to choose what happens to you. You're kind of rolling the dice on it and accepting the both the good and the bad things that come from it. Something that I've struggled with a lot is starting tea has made my anxiety worse. The testosterone can exacerbate that. Some of the longer term effects that I've had are like not sleeping as much or not sleeping through the night. Um, and just having like an overall heightened level of anxiety. Hormones, you're just kind of taking it and then hoping that you get enough of what you wanted that it's worth it. And I had a really hard time weighing that before ultimately taking the plunge into starting hormone replacement therapy. I, I really was wrestling with, okay, do I, can I accept the good and the bad of starting hormones. And I think that after a year, I can say that it's overall been awesome. Going through puberty before was just scary and annoying and wrong. 
just didn't fit. Doing this is like, I'm actually hitting milestones that I want to, that are exciting. Besides body dysphoria, I also experienced social dysphoria. I was experiencing some social dysphoria by getting misgendered a lot in public. In a binary world, getting misgendered as a man and being referred to by he, him pronouns is a lot preferable than she, her. A year into taking testosterone, I can say that that is the case. People assume that I am a man and use he, him pronouns for me. At least they gender me as he, him instead of she, her. It's still not quite right. The pronouns that I prefer the most at the moment are they, them. You know, my ideal world is one where everyone just knows to call me they, them, and where there's a space for non-binary people. Whenever people gender me as she, her, it's very distressing. And I knew that taking testosterone would mean that a lot of people would start to assume that I was a man and use he, him pronouns for me. And while that's still not ideal, I prefer that over she, her. I'm most inspired by trans masculine and gender non-conforming people who don't identify as trans men, but take standard doses of testosterone and present very masculine. I still feel a really strong connection to non-binary people and gender non-conforming people that are trans mask and they end up taking like standard doses of testosterone to get to the levels that like cis men have. I'm, I really feel connected to those narratives. That's the direction I want to go in. I feel like my body and my presentation should be very masculine. That's how I want it to be. Feeling even more masculine in my expression and my body and how I look. But inside, I don't feel like I am a man or like the best pronouns for me are he, him. I don't, I don't feel like that. I don't feel like I'm a trans man, even though I'm taking testosterone. I'm still non-binary. I still use they, them pronouns. I'm just starting T also. It's a really exciting and joyous thing to be able to experience my body changing to become more like the person that I want to be, that I always knew I should be. As with any major life change, I'm like a little nervous. Starting hormone replacement therapy was definitely the right decision for me. And I plan to continue doing it. I'm super, super excited to be taking this step in my transition and I'm really looking forward to it. The first year of hormone replacement therapy is a really big year. A lot happens. Some of it is really fast. Some of it takes a little bit longer. I know that there are a lot more changes to come and a lot of them are going to be more gradual. But I plan to keep making videos updating you about my changes, how I feel about hormones in the future and I'm gonna keep documenting my voice and how I look over time so that you can see how testosterone is affecting me. Watch this space for more updates on my transition, my journey with hormone replacement therapy. And other than that, I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.